eight research groups funded by NWO WOTRO. The research groups, they are in a global challenges program working on food security issues in the view of food systems. This is just a little for our food system to really change. The, the system itself, right from production to the consumer, needs a change and the way we do things. It's not only about export imports, but also knowledge transfer. We need the knowledge, we need technologies, and to do things better. We all say that the researchers are there, but how do we commercialize it? How do you work? Academia and private sector, is there's no point of convergence. So how do we get to this point? We look at the food systems in Ghana. We look at three basic components of the food system. The food production, farm system, uh, the distribution subsystem and then also the consumption subsystem. Marketing becomes the main issue of Ghanaian agriculture rather than production. But storage technologies have not been developed and government policy is more interested in inputs of fertilizers to increase production rather than how to store that production in order to deal with seasonality. Also we looked at the fact that in policies and also in research we need to be more explicit about what is the future food system we want. Uh, many countries they have one policy, for example commercialization of small farmers, but is that the food system solution for all? Will that enable access to food for all types of consumers? And maybe you need a small scale farmer a system together with a medium scale system together with a large scale system. Of how best we can use the food systems available to enhance the nutritional contents of our food and also to make sure that consumers have access. Access is critical, affordability is critical and availability is critical. One key thing we'll be doing to ensure that we do the is and uh, production diversity amongst uh, smallholder farmers. We are not working with a lot of large scale farmers anyway, but the rural farmers that we are working with, you have uh, production diversity to introduce some uh, nutrient-dense uh, crops that they can produce on the sideline as well. We are also looking at working with other stakeholders in the food system to see how best they can look at storage, look at packaging, and look at nutrition requirements for the life stage. The food system that we have in Ghana, I think we pay more attention to smallholder farmers. But I think it's also time that we look at medium to large scale farming. So I want to urge commercial farmers or uh, FOBs to engage researchers, to do researches specific for the area or for the product they do. I heard somebody at the other side of the table who was referring to his colleague who had done this and then his junior was doing that in the 90s. But where is the information? Why don't we come up with a sort of platform where all that information and all that experience is available? And I think this confirms why we are here and I would like to make sure that we all contribute to it so that more research, more findings are accessible, visible and available. I've learned a lot. I think it's just attitude. The researchers blame the private sector and the private sector people also blame the researchers. Research institutions in the Netherlands partner and they come together. But here in Ghana, you see a researcher wants to do something. It's one department and that department, and he wants that money to stay in that department or institution. The minister's policy is that it's not only about dumping their chicken in our country, but how can they transfer knowledge, technologies, and all that? We take companies from here to the Netherlands every year to go to the poultry sector, to go to the aquaculture sector, to see how they can transfer knowledge, not only from the Dutch, but also from your side, Partner, you see a Dutch company wants to set up, set up, they come as a consortium. There's a systemic problem that we need to start looking at. It starts right from even how we are brought up. I, I feel that we look at things, it's all about me. And it's, I think that attitude is also killing. There needs to be a systemic change and that is a collective, collective effort.